Today, we have the first real look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max on top of many confirmations of its impressive new specifications. So first story of the day, before we get into the reveal of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we've got news that for those of you that want a larger display on your iPhone, Apple do have something in the works. Now, according to Ross Young's latest tweet, the iPhone 16 Pro is going to be 6.2 inches and the 16 Pro Max is going to be 6.8. And this means that they're 0.1 inches larger than their predecessors. And although this is a little bit early to be talking about this information, Ross Young is incredibly accurate when it comes to display leaks and he's proved himself time and time again. Now, next up, we've got news from Unknowns21 and he's confirmed that the Periscope lens this year is going to be exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and it's not going to be on the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, Ming-Chi Kuo also confirmed in a report that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to feature a periscope lens with an optical zoom of five to six times zoom. And this is a sensible move and a good improvement from last year's three times optical. Not only does this give us great photos at up to six times zoom, but it's also going to improve the quality of the 12 times photos thanks to the longer optical range and digital cropping technologies. And a great way to protect your cameras is by using today's video sponsor, the Case Crew Magic Stand. The Case Crew Magic Stand not only looks great, but it provides incredible protection for your iPhone with four airbags in each corner and a case that protrudes slightly past the camera lenses and the display to protect them from any drops or falls. Thanks to its lightweight materials, it only adds minimal thickness to your iPhone. And thanks to the hidden stand, you can prop your phone up at any angle between 40 and 120 degrees. It's also got a magnet in the center of the stand to support all of your favorite MagSafe chargers and accessories. And they're available in lots of different color choices and available for most of the recent iPhones. And you can check them out by clicking the link down in the description below. Now, next up, we've got more incredible news that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to feature the thinnest bezel ever seen on an iPhone. Reliable Leaker Ice Universe tweeted an image of the iPhone 15 Pro Max screen protector alongside a render of what we can expect the iPhone 15 Pro Max to look like. And as you can see, they're much thinner than the previous models. Now, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is also going to have a slightly curved bezel, similar to what we see on the Apple Watch. And to be fair, I think it gives it a much more premium look. Now, there's no denying that the 15 Pro Max looks very similar to its predecessor, but at least we're getting some improvements on the design here. And on top of that, we will, of course, be getting a brighter and better display. Now, next up, we've got the first look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max, thanks to YouTuber Unbox Therapy, and he's obtained a replica and unboxed it for us. Now, while this is a replica, the CAD and dimensions that come from case manufacturers and they obtain information early in order to prepare for their cases, so it's not just made up information. Now, in his video, he compares it side by side with its predecessor, and you can see a huge difference in the bezel size. It's also got a USB type C port as well, and it gives us the first look at this new action button instead of the switch we've been used to for many years. Now, apart from that, it looks similar in terms of its design. And the only real thing to mention here is that on this model, we've got a unified volume rocket instead of the two separate ones, but not all leakers agree. In a new report from 9to5Mac who have obtained CAD from a reputable source, they've discovered that we will be getting this new action button, but according to their information, there's still going to be two separate buttons for the volume up and volume down. Now, the new CAD also goes against the previous rumors of a huge camera bump on the rear, while it is slightly larger than the previous models, it's actually barely noticeable. Their CAD shows that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a slightly larger camera bump than the 15 Pro, and that the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max are going to have this new action button, but the non-Pro models won't. When it comes to the non-Pro iPhone 15 models, they're essentially becoming a re-release of the previous year's iPhone, including the same chipset, so they're definitely not going to be considered for upgrades from the previous model. Now, for the pros, it's probably still not going to be worth upgrading from the 14, given so many similarities. But for those on older iPhones or wanting to purchase their first iPhone, it's going to be an incredible phone. Now, as we approach launch, more and more information is going to come flooding in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing in the future.